Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope that you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on in terms of uh, seeing potential development of that area in the Caribbean. So we're seeing it still being highlighted in red. So the formation chance through the next several days remains at 70% and that area of low pressure is expected to form around tomorrow or even on Thursday and uh, thereafter we could see development of it as it makes its way to the northeast. We're going to be seeing Taking a look at the latest uh, happening across the Caribbean this morning, as well as what models have to show in the rainfall forecast for today as well. So let's get into it. And here we are taking a look at the satellite imagery across the Gulf. There is that low which is drifting toward the east, and uh, that has been inducing some periods of heavy rain across sections of Texas and even Louisiana. And uh, things are clearing up for Texas now, but this will continue toward the east, bring in more rain full activity to other states such as Mississippi, Alabama, as well as Florida as the week goes on. For most of Northern South America, we're not seeing where much is happening. Let's zoom closer into the Caribbean and there we can see all of that convection associated with where that air flow pressure could form. So this area has been very active and there's likely to be a lot of heavy rainfall across sections of Central America through today as it loiters around. So we're going to be looking at that in a moment, but going to other areas as we take a look at sections of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, even for Jamaica, Hispaniola, there isn't a whole lot of activity. Some showers are moving through some areas, for example, for some spots here in Jamaica this morning, a bit of rainfall activity popping up and moving through. It's a similar story across the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, and as we head toward Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as well. So some islands have experienced some rainfall activity this morning, but as we head through to most of the last Antilles, uh, not a whole lot of activity, but for Trinidad and Tobago, there is likely to be some more rainfall as we head through today, as well as for other areas as well. There could be some showers popping up or moving through. So let's now go ahead and take a look at the rainfall forecast for today. And as we see more of those shades of those reds and those oranges, even those burgundies and purples, a lot more heavy rainfall is expected. So in portions of Central America, we're seeing just that for uh, parts of Honduras and even for northeastern Nicaragua. So with that uh, area of disturbed weather, we're seeing that there is a lot of activity there. So that is going to be resulting in a lot more heavy rainfall today across those aforementioned areas. And that could unleash flooding in some spots. But overall, there's likely to be some substantial rainfall activity across Mexico, going to Belize, the offshore uh, islands, the Keys, as well as the Bay Islands of Honduras, sections of Guatemala, and even down through Costa Rica and Panama, including the islands of uh, San Andres and Providencia. So those areas could experience quite a bit of rainfall activity through today. Similar story for Colombia, especially near the coast. So a lot more heavy rainfall is likely within the area. Going toward the Guyanas, much is not expected today, but as we head to the vicinity of of Trinidad and Tobago, as I said, there could be some more showers moving through and even for the ABC Islands as well for some areas. But for the most part, the rainfall chance is not very high. And then as we head into the majority of the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, as well as some parts of uh, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, just a passing shower or so is expected as today is likely to be a mostly sunny and hot day for some of us. And a similar outcome is expected for Cuba and the Cayman Islands and even for Jamaica as well. But there could be some areas which experience some heavy downpours and then as we head up into sections of the Bahamas as well as for Florida there may be some substantial rainfall activity as we head through today that rainfall chance not as high or uh, probable for the Turks and Caicos Islands. And now let's go ahead and talk more about the area. So this is the latest NHD forecast. As I said, the chance remains at 70% for this morning. And we could see that area of low pressure forming very soon. But what about models? What are models showing? So let's go ahead and take a look at them. We'll be looking at GFS as well as ICON and Euro. So we're going to be kickstarting things, taking a look at the latest forecast from the GFS. And so here we are. This is as we head into tomorrow evening. 
happening. There we can see all of that increase in activity and uh, that airflow pressure forming in the vicinity of southeastern Florida as well as the northern Bahamas. So there could be a lot of heavy rainfall within this area here as we head into tomorrow. And as a result, when there's a lot of heavy rainfall, there can be periods of flooding. And eventually, GFS is showing that this airflow pressure which forms could develop along with other models as well. But in the Southwest Caribbean, it is also showing that that airflow pressure will form a 1,005 millibar low pressure area. Eventually, as we head into Friday with that system off the southeast coast, there it is strengthening. We see a pressure of 993 millibars. And this could actually become a subtropical or tropical cyclone. And in that case, if it does so before whatever is in the Caribbean, it would acquire the name Vince, but only if it reaches the threshold to be considered as such. It will acquire the name Vince in that case. And then Whitney is the final name for the hurricane season. In the Caribbean, we don't see much organization with that expected airflow pressure. Yesterday, GFS was showing something definitely organized, a tropical storm uh, making its way through. But we see all that activity, the worst of which is offshore of Jamaica. So GFS has been showing that the center is going to be passing just east of the island and uh, showing most of that activity making its way over into portions of Haiti and the Dominican Republic and eventually going into portions of the southern Bahamas as well as the Turks and Caicos. Allen. So that is what GFS has. Let's now head on to the ICON model. So this is as we head out into Thursday of this week. Again, we're seeing all that increase in moisture and rainfall activity across the northern Bahamas as well as Florida. And it is showing that airflow pressure forming in the Caribbean and getting itself together. Then as we head out to Thursday night, take a look at this. All this activity now moving into the vicinity of Jamaica. So it may not be a tropical cyclone at the time, but regardless, we're seeing that a lot of rainfall activity activities expected to be moving in also into Cuba and eventually it moves out under the influence of that front and finally the euro model so euro is showing that we'll also see that increase in moisture for parts of southern Florida the northern Bahamas and that air flow pressure forming as we head into Thursday eventually the model shows that we're not going to be seeing a whole lot of development but take a look at all that activity by Thursday night making its way into Jamaica eventually all of that continues it's present to mostly Haiti as well as parts of eastern Cuba and uh, four portions of the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos islands as well so that is what the models are showing as of their latest update this morning guys and uh, I mean, we're seeing some variation here. And in reality, with that area of low pressure not forming just yet, there are going to be more variations for the short term and a general track to the northeast is expected but a small change can make a huge difference in the areas which experience the worst of the impacts that are expected as we head to later this week so uh, nothing is solidified just yet however the national hurricane center has stated that jamaica haiti and the dominican republic should monitor the progress of the system again that's airflow pressure is likely to form as we head into tomorrow and uh, eventually we could see development of it but regardless of development there could be a lot of dangerous flooding across many areas guys and i'm here to keep you posted as always so uh, that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this morning's update video i hope you found it to be quite informative and if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise